Hello everyone, it's me Derpy. So I've been playing Genshin for well over a year now, every day. And I always forget there's new players coming to the game. So I want to make a quick guide for new players that's starting the game. And have you guys have a really easy time into the game right away with a reroll guide. So if you never played Genshin before, what reroll is, you basically start on a brand new account. And then you want to get to a certain point in the game. And then afterwards, you can just reroll over and over again until you get the characters you want to start the game with, just to have a better time playing. When we first open the game, we will be greeted with a login screen. So we want to just click register. And for this video, or this guide in general, you want to make a brand new email account on Gmail. So I never tested this with any other email, but I know it works with Gmail. Make it long, make it at least 15 to 20 or so characters just so we don't have to make another account later. So how this works is when you put in your email like this, so this is a random email I made for this video. Let's say you already use this email to make an account and you can't use it anymore, right? Because when you try to register, it will tell your email already exists. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna put a dot anywhere in between these characters like this or like here or here. So you'll put it anywhere in these characters and you can make a brand new account on this email but gmail will see this as the same email because uh, it has a feature where you can put dots in between characters and it will think it's the same email while mihoyo will see this as a brand new email that you never used before even though it's um even though it is a email you already used so we're gonna get uh send a code here wait till get it so here we go code is right here we will just copy this and we're gonna move this back to my second monitor and we will type this into Genshin here and we're just gonna make a random password I don't really care what this is it's in the account password is nothing I ever use and I don't care if this account gets hacked there we go we got a brand new account even though this is the exact same email I use for like seven accounts now just doing some stuff before making this video oops Put this in place and we can head into the game agree wall accept so when the game opens first start we're gonna have a what do you call this a cutscene unskippable cutscene so we're gonna play that and then the second we get to pick our character we're gonna pick our character select the name after we select we can alt f4 quit right out of the game so if you have um, like a really slow computer where you're playing on a phone, tablet, that doesn't load the game super quickly, or even a console, you just want to just watch the cutscene after we select our character. But in my case, I will be skipping it. And this is the only cutscene I will be watching together. For the rest of the game, the cutscenes and the dialogues, I'm just gonna skip just to make the video a little shorter. We should be able to pick really soon and you can name your character whatever you want i just go for something short just so i can get ahead with this video and if you are doing rerolls this might take you a whole day before you get one good account so we'll be picking mail because we can do that and we'll just name something random and we pick it and now you can just quit right out of the game all that four and we open again back up again Like I said before, if you have a slow PC or a slower phone and the game takes a while to load or open, don't do this, just play the game, watch a cutscene normally. But this is slightly faster if you can load the game fast enough. Jump right in, and we'll get started. So we're gonna go into another cutscene at which I will skip and I'll see you guys at the end of it. And we will be spawning right here where we're just going to make a quick dash towards that teleport point we see. Don't worry about it, just consume your stamina whenever it fills up. We don't actually have to go super close to it, we'll just go right next to the teleport point by the bush and we can activate it like this and let's keep going. So, got this. If you get that pop up, that means you probably got it. And we're going to head up this way. 
So this part of the game is pretty simple, nothing really special, and there's not much we can actually optimize here. We will just keep going towards our right, and we're going to head towards that two bushes over there. There we go, and we'll have another cutscene. After the dialogue with Paimon, we will go towards our right, make a quick dash. We want to stay not too far away from Paimon. You can either be ahead of her or behind her, so whatever you choose. If you choose to be behind her, just stick really close behind her. But if you choose to be ahead of her, keep your camera kind of like this and whenever you see her on your screen, you can make a quick dash and you'll see it. So just right there and that's what we'll be grabbing first. So we will just jump up here. And then we just run up, grab the chest, and then head back towards Paimon. So just a bit of water, and I'm gonna just swim right over. Uh, trying to dive when swimming over, and we'll have another cutscene. After the talk with Paimon, this will be our combat tutorial. So we'll just tap E right here. Afterwards, we're gonna hold it. So hold our E. And then we'll walk towards this rock, face backwards, press our ultimate, and then we're gonna head towards that broken wagon right there. So we're gonna head this way. Towards this broken wagon, we're gonna drop down right here. And then when you do drop down, you'll see a chest right here. Open that chest. You don't actually need to grab anything in that chest, but grab it if you want, it's not necessary. So we'll see a dragon fly by. Keep pressing forward or keep going forward any way you play. You can actually keep moving while looking at that. There's a chest and monster there, we're gonna ignore them and we we'll just keep going. So come towards this way and towards the left a little bit, there's been another chest. Make sure to grab this chest before you keep pressing forward because there will be another cutscene and the cutscene will teleport somewhere else. After that cutscene and dialogue with Paimon, we will run up here and grab this rock. Don't grab it before Paimon stops moving because it does something weird. So quick dialogue there, jump right down here towards this, we'll see another chest right there. Jump up and we'll grab it and head it towards this way and there'll be another cutscene. After the cutscene and dialogue with Amber, we will be getting new character Amber and this will be our bow tutorial. Press switch to Amber, press 2, shoot this thing out, grab this chest. And we'll see another chest right here in this broken wagon. We're gonna grab that as well. And then we'll head left towards the teleport point. So we're gonna head up there. And just jump our way up. Make sure to grab this because it will force your camera angle that way. And we're gonna shoot this hello troll. And we're gonna kill it, switch into our main character with an E and like that. Keep moving forwards, we'll see there's another hill troll camp. Shoot him down, go around like this. Group everyone up, or we'll try to group everyone as much as you can. Open this chest before the dialogue starts. So this is a short dialogue, I just want to skip this one. After this dialogue, we're going to open our map and we're going to teleport back to the teleport point we just unlocked. So. Shouldn't be too long of a dialogue right there. We're gonna open our map, teleport back here. And we're gonna go towards our left here, towards this tree. And we'll see a person here, don't talk to her yet. We're gonna investigate. And then we're gonna pick up everything. Don't talk to her yet. Cook, we're gonna cook a chicken skewer. You can cook manually and you can stop it right away. Exit out, talk to her. I won't skip this part either because it's quite short compared to other dialogues. Okay, we're gonna skip. Blah blah blah. Okay, yep, 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 yep. After we finish talking to her once, we're gonna talk to her right again because we already made the skewer. After this dialogue, we're gonna head up this bridge towards Mondstadt now. Gonna head this way now. What 
I'm trying to do here, trying to do this thing called bee hopping where you just kind of go a little faster than normal, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not really good at it either. So head right into town, we will have another cutscene and then dialogue with Amber. After dialogue with Amber, we're gonna press J or open the quest. We don't need to navigate and just head towards into Mondstadt now. See teleport point right there? We're gonna get that real quick. Jump up here, climb this wall, get this teleport point, head towards this way, towards this little wall here, and we're gonna jump right over it. And we'll see you come across these small little staircases, do the same thing, gonna jump right over it, head up this way, and then we're gonna head towards this giant staircase and wall here. So we can just jump our way up here, wait a little bit for our stamina to recover. About there, we're gonna jump, press forward, and then spam our way through. Whenever you're climbing and you feel like you're gonna fall, just go slowly and we'll get another dialogue. But this is quickly really, really short, so I just skip right to. This will be our wing glider tutorial, so we're gonna hold W down, open our wings with spacebar, and we're gonna teleport to the waypoint we unlocked earlier. And we can just run down right here, and there's gonna be another cutscene. At the end of the cutscene, we're gonna have this quick little fight with the, the storm here. Here, I'm not gonna call its name unless you, in case you didn't play it. The quest yet so i'm not gonna try to spoil anything here but you should probably play the quest up to just a small certain point before you start re-rolling because we're gonna be skipping all the dialogues here after that cutscene and real long dialogues we will get a couple more tutorial points we're gonna jump right towards our right don't use our stamina jump up here wait for our stamina to regenerate a little bit and then we're gonna jump towards this pillar here and we can spam to jump our way up like this. Jump up here, wait for Sam to refill, jump right up here, and we're gonna spam jump our way through again, get the teleport point, and open this chest. Come out this way, another chest here, we're gonna grab this, jump down this way, punch attack down, oop, could have done that a little better, but whatever. I'm gonna head in, make sure don't talk to Paimon. Another cutscene, another really long dialogue, and I'll see you at the end of it. After that long dialogue section, this will re unlock the shop and our wishing feature, but we're not done yet. We're gonna open our maps right away. Map, and we're gonna teleport to the one outside of Mondstadt here, where we can start Amber's trial domain. Towards the left, and we're going to dash our way through. This is relatively close. So just talk to Amber here. I'm not gonna skip these dialogues that they are not the longest dialogues and don't really need to skip, I mean, cut towards the end. We're gonna dash towards this domain here, head into it, and we're gonna start right away. If you hear a lot of keyboard middle uh, spacebar spamming, just because I'm trying to skip as far as possible. So we actually get a tutorial here about how to use burn stuff, but we're not gonna matter. I'm gonna jump right over this thing, hug this corner right here, and we'll open this chest. If you wanna grab the stuff that's actually inside of the chest, then you have to actually go in it, but, but it saves a lot of time not grabbing so jump right down here and mess up your attack and don't kill this thing fast enough and don't do the same thing I did. so they're gonna come two more enemies shoot one of them with pyro boom swirl everything and just kill them off don't worry if you don't kill them really fast. It's not gonna make a time difference. So grab that chest. There's a chest in the corner as well. We'll grab this as well. And we're gonna head up here now. So more enemies. We have our ultimate on our traveler now. So we should just use that. Pull that up. And 
boom, there we go. Everything should be dead. Grab our chest. Before we're heading that door, we want to shoot this. And there's a trick you can do here. You can do this. Dash right before you hit the door. And then, because you won't let you move when they're panning that camera. But we could have our wind glider open right here. We get towards the edge. Punch attack down. Switch to amber. Duck. Another quick dialogue section. Not gonna cut this part out. After it ends, we're gonna grab this chest. We're gonna take what's inside of it. We're gonna leave the domain. Good. The well, second we leave, head towards the left. You'll see another chest right there. Shoot that out. Make sure if you are playing male character, switch to the male character when you run. You run a little bit faster. Ignore the stuff that just spawned there. We're gonna head towards these two trees here. We'll pan our camera and go that way, but that's fine. Jump on top of this rock. Switch back to Amber. Press R to do aim shot mode and shoot these three slimes out. Open this chest. Grab this and then we're gonna switch back to the traveler because it runs a little bit faster and we're gonna head this way. Some slimes will spawn, but we can just ignore them. Grab that thing again and head towards the statue of the seven. So activate this. Map comes out, picks that right out of it. We're gonna worship the statue, we're gonna offer all. So this will unlock the wind tunnel for the updraft we're gonna be needing for uh, to get into Lisa's domain story quest. Normally, I would head towards Kaya's one, but we don't need to. So jump towards this tree section here, save a little bit of stamina, and we're gonna jump up here, climb, Rest a little bit to get some stamina back. And then we're gonna climb up here. Grab this again and glide down towards that other thing we could grab. I think they're called amoculi. I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I've done any of this. So you see a little bit of some of this wind stuff. Grab one, tap E, go up, grab it, punch down, head towards left. See another chest here, we're not gonna grab that. Run right past these mobs. And we will head towards that wind tunnel we just opened. Some slimes will spawn, but we will ignore them. Get towards here, and then glide up and just angle yourself right and head towards that domain there now where we will talk to Lisa. You can look downwards when your character reaches the edge, you can punch attack to get down there faster and talk to Lisa here. Dialogue also pretty short so I'm not gonna cut it and then finish talking to her. Dash your way towards this domain and we're gonna start this domain right away. This domain is actually quite, pretty short, so it shouldn't take too long to do. Normally, you would go there and talk to Lisa, but we're gonna skip it. Walk on this edge, just slow, you can do it slowly, and then jump right here. There's a few chests in this domain, but we're not gonna grab them. There's a chest right there, but we're not gonna grab it. Up this wind tunnel again, and there's another chest right there, but we're not going to grab it. So the, for the next part, the easiest way to do this is kind of come towards the side. Dash towards this, and then open your gliders at an angle. And fly this way. We're going to try to land right here, and we're going to head up. So, this platform, just wait for this platform to go. Kind of wait for it all the way. It's good enough. And jump over. Activate that and then just jump right down with our wind gliders open. Catch this wind tunnel and then keep going forwards. 
because this platform's kind of going in the same direction. You can just ride the platform. If not, you will kind of glide towards here and then you're going to plunge downwards and we'll respawn at this gate. So head up here. And we're going to tap E on this just to break it. And uh, grab everything and just exit out of the domain. And we're almost done actually. We will get out of the domain and we're going to head towards our left here. Grab our last um, oculi. So we'll grab this. Open our map. Head towards Statue of the Seven. It's behind us. So we're going to dash behind. Worship Statue and we will offer all. And you can see here we are Adventure Rank 7 now. But let's not start wishing yet. Let's head towards the Adventure Guild and claim our rewards for one extra wish. So teleport back to Mondstadt. And we're going to head down here. And claim Adventure Rank Rewards. You can claim it all. But I'm just going to claim up to Adventure Rank 5. And now we're going to open our mail. We will claim everything. All of these wishes. I mean Primal Gems. So now we're going to hit our wishing window. And this is how I like to wish. You can wish differently if you want. But I really like this beginner's wish banner. It sometimes gives you a lot of 5 stars. So I really like this one. No 5 stars here. That's fine. You can know well. After I do single wish on that, I like to go to the character banner and wish a temple here. No 5 stars, that's too bad. And we're looking for 300 star glitter. We can't do temples anymore, so we'll do single pulse until we get to 300. So one more should do it. Shop. Go to Stardust Exchange. Buy 4 of these. And we'll do our last temple on the beginner's wish banner. No 5 star again, that's fine. And now we can just do single pulse on the character banner. And eh, probably not gonna get anything good. This, this was pretty bad reroll actually. Probably one of the worst things you get. Uh, she's not that good, we get her for free later. So finish all your single pulse, come back here again, buy the rest of the intertwined fate. Do our last wishes here. And that's it. Cost 75 to buy one when we don't have enough. And that's all we can wish. And just to prove that this thing works and we're getting like uh, like it works. So I made another account. This one's a reroll yesterday. Just to do test of this email works. And I put a dot right here, but it goes to the exact same email I used. Exact same Gmail account and the same inbox. And you see, I logged on. And I'll just go into the game to show you that it's a different account with different characters. Normally, it will be a cutscene here if you're rerolling again. And you can see here. I am in a different account with different characters. This one was uh, still wasn't a really good reroll, and I wouldn't use this account. Either. And finally, to end this video, I'm gonna show you how you can keep your account to a different email because you probably don't want to be using this random email address that you made as your main account because it's not very safe and it's not very convenient when you lose that email. So. We're gonna solve this here. And here we go, we're on account. We'll go to the account security settings. We're gonna modify the link and then just follow whatever is on the screen now. Connect this to your main uh, your main email. I recommend setting a mobile password as well. Probably wanna change your password to something more secure as well if you use a really bad password at the start and do anything else you want with it as well thank you guys for watching this video i hope you found this a little bit helpful in your re-rolling since you know me might have not been using an optimal route so best of luck with your re-rolls or if you are currently already playing best of luck with your wishes and i'll see you guys next time